This is the instructions on how to cover paperback books. Over here on the cart, we have our shelf of paperback books that are ready to be covered. They have the call number and the barcode on the back. They need to have both of those things in order to be covered. Mrs. Klein has it in order from left to right as, import, as level of importance of what she would like to have covered first. So we're going to start on the left side, and we're going to choose our book. We're going to come to the closet and select the correct size of the Capco cover that will fit the book. This is a good size. We need two pieces. One has a flexible spine, and the other does not. We'll come over to the workstation and we're going to measure the first piece so that it fits perfectly on the page. Grab you my pen. You're going to place the book at the very top edge with just a little space at the back overlapping. See? Got it. Then we're going to cover or we're going to make our mark on our first sheet. She's just using a ballpoint pen. Yep, and this isn't working yet. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this one works. There we go. I'm just making my lines. And on the second sheet, it's going to be the same thing, except we're only going over this edge. Not out here but here of the hard part. So the hard part is just a little in ah. from the edge. And the hinge. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to mark. Okay. And we're going to bring it over here and we're going to cut. Lining up and cutting on this one, it doesn't matter so much if you're to center or to the left, but it will make a difference with the size or the height of the book. Uh. So you do want to cut to the inside of the line just a little bit. So you don't want any overhanging the actual Correct. size of the box. Because what I do is then I bring it back over here and I feel to make sure that it's a good size. Because if it's too big, it's going to sharp and poke and not stick well. So it needs to be, it's almost better to even have it a little smaller. Okay. Okay. And we'll do the same on this one. So the height is important, but the width not, not quite as so much. much. It's more forgiving. Correct. Line it up and just to the left of the line a little bit. And then I always double check before I start to stick. Okay. Now I use, I put the, the non-floppy spine piece on the back of the book first. There's a little piece here that'll peel off. And then I get this piece started. Ah. So it's like this. And you come to this open side, side of the, of the, the open side of the book and carefully. It's not very forgiving, so you got to be real careful before you place. And then slowly peel away. You can also use this if you need to push out any bubbles. Okay. Flip the book over. We're at this side. Now we're going to use this paper and I get it started just like the last one. And be very careful about placement. And then slowly pull. And you can use this if needed. Okay, now for the spine part. I just fold this over and I start to pull it away. And this is where I use this tool because this is floppy and not rigid. I like to make sure that that's nice and secure. And then I just take my fingers and roll over the spine and off the paper. And then I try to get all any bubbles out. Okay. And that's covering the book 
with the Capco cover, but it's not done. Now we need to put tape on the spine. And you grab, this is like a two inch tape, right? Yep. Something like that. And this one's not quite. More in the cupboard? Yeah, more in this cupboard down here. Yep. Okay, so what I do, I just kind of, by sight, somewhat kind of measure how long it's going to be. It doesn't have to be perfect from end to end. I just want to bind. And then I take the sticky sides out and the non-sticky side this way, and I fold it over, and I lay it on the first page. And you're going to use this little daily and make sure we get it into that spine. And try to get all those bubbles out. And we do the back side. If I can find the edge. Try to make it as pretty as you can. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. That one turned out pretty nice, actually. And all this will add to the life of the book. Yes. Many more circulations. But this book is not 100% ready. There's still some um, um, data entry that we need to do once this book has the tape on both inside and the back side, both sides. And but that's pretty much it. That's how you cover the book. So she's going to put the not ready sign on it and then the library staff will make sure that it's in the database properly and, and then we will get it out to students. Thank you. Thank you, Gina.